This is Las Vegas Real Estate Now with local real estate expert Harvey Blankfeld. Where we want to educate you about our market, empower you to make wise decisions, and help you engage with our expert contributors. We have John Ingram here, and he's the most funnest lender ever. The funnerest, I think, is what they they say. John's NMLS number, 552596. He's with Axia Home Loans. As the economy continues to improve, we hear about the Fed raising rates. Talk mm-hmm. to me a little bit about that, the impact of that. Maybe uh, what, what does that mean for mortgages? Yeah, I mean, uh, those who follow the uh, the financial news out there would have heard last week uh, um, the Federal Reserve raised the prime rate or their FUD funds rate, which directly impacts credit cards, shorter term loans, uh, auto loans, that sort of thing. They raised it a quarter percent, which was t- entirely expected. Mm-hmm. They uh, Their verbiage came out in basically support of at least... Uh, two more increases this year. So mm-hmm. keeping pressure on the short-term uh, 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 end of the interest rate uh, spectrum. Okay. And then, you know, one of the bigger things that people probably are not thinking about, but I think has a larger impact in our mortgage finance world, is what they're doing with the, uh, their quantitative tightening in regards to the amount of mortgage-backed securities they're purchasing in the open marketplace. So right now, the, the Federal Reserve has this big portfolio of, of mortgages and, and treasuries and this sort of thing, right? Okay. So they're taking the interest and, and the uh, early payoffs for those loans, and they're reinvesting it into uh, more of those bonds on a month-by-month basis. Okay. Well, each quarter for the last now three quarters, going becoming April 1, going to the third quarter, um, they have been reducing $4 billion a month less in purchases, specifically of mortgages. That is going to be a larger pressure on your mortgage rates going higher than the what you hear about in that Fed's funds rate. Do you see rates going crazy? I mean, Do, yeah, yeah, no, I wouldn't yeah. want anybody to be fearful, but right. I, you know, I think as a general rule of thumb, is six months from now expected to be higher than today? Yes. Okay. You know, a general upward trend is what the Fed wants us uh, to be seeing in interest rates and actually feeling. And the idea is that it keeps a certain amount of pressure on the economy to keep it from overheating. Right. Overheating and, and having inflation come into the marketplace uh, restricts the flow of money, basically, mm-hmm. um, and and keeps things um, on a smooth, uh, positive pace. I want to talk about something else uh, from a federal level. Okay. Uh, let's All talk right. about uh, Fannie and Freddie. And what's going on with those guys? You know, they were in so much trouble. Before. Yeah. They, now, they're where do they the stand crash. now? Where are they these they days? They hit a m- major, major milestone, which is they, um, in the original agreement, the um, the feds, right, mm-hmm. they came in and rescued those companies, both right. Fannie and Freddie. They came in and said, hey, we're going to buy all the, or take over your preferred stock effectively. Mm-hmm. Um, we're going to grant you these huge m- hundreds of billions of dollars of loans. And as part of the original agreement, they were supposed to repay all the money and give back 10% as a profit. Wow. Both Fannie and Freddie paid, off. paid back 100% of what the taxpayer loaned them and 10% profit. And here's the kicker. The government still happens to own, we citizens still own Fannie and Freddie. Why would they give it up? I mean, really, I mean, if I'm them and I'm making money on this now and, and they've paid back the loan, but I'm making a profit, uh, why wouldn't I just keep it? I, I think there's certainly an argument to be made for that. I mean, from the other side, the the opposition to that would say, we don't want taxpayers on the hook if these companies make bad loans again. We don't want another taxpayer bailout. Okay. So by rule, they're being kept broke so that the next time they need a dollar, guess what they can call it? It's a bailout. How about that? This is Las Vegas Real Estate Now with local real estate expert Harvey Blankfeld. Thanks for listening, and remember to tune in every Tuesday at 9 a.m. right here on AM 720 KDWN.